In this tutorial, I'll show you how to retrieve a list of files from Google Drive via REST API and display those files in your phprunner or asprunner.net application. First, we need to create API credentials in Google Cloud Console. I opened the console under APIs and Services, Credentials, click Create Credentials. Choose OAuth Client ID. On the next screen, select Web Application. Authorized Redirect URI is the location where you are going to upload your application to. You can add it now or later. I will add it later as I don't have it right now. Click Create. The next pop-up informs us that the client is created and supplies us with the client ID and the client secret. I now copy both by clicking on the copy icon and paste it somewhere safe. Be sure to keep them secret. I now edit the client and click on Add URI. Supply the full URL of the application and click Save. Next, we need to enable the Google Drive API. Under a Library, find the Google Drive API and enable it. The Google Drive API is now enabled and can be used in our project. I now open a blank project in PHP Runner. I already have a connection that I will use for this demonstration. Click on Create REST View. Select OAuth. I now paste the URL, client ID, client secret, authorization and access token URIs, and the scope. I left a link in the description to a blog post where you can copy and paste these values from. Click OK. I now rename the view. Now activate create list operation. The HTTP method is get. Paste the resource, also to be found in the blog post. Since this API uses OAuth user type of authentication, we cannot run the request in the software and must supply a list of fields manually. The list of fields comes from the Google Drive REST API documentation. Link in the documentation to be found in the blog post. OK, I now add the first field. For simplicity purposes, I use a type string for all fields. A list of all fields used in this tutorial can be found in the blog post. Now click on single and enable single operation. Paste the resource from the blog post and that is it. I now upload the project to the correct location as defined in Authorized Redirect URI earlier on. Let's see how it works. Just before the listing page, there is a Google consent form. I select the Google account I would like to use, but there is a warning. Since I used a real web server, Google needs me to verify the domain. It is possible to click on Advance and Continue, but you preferably don't want this to happen on a real website. 
back at the Google Cloud Console, click on Domain Verification. Click Add Domain. I now supply the domain where my application is and Add Domain. Click on Take Me There, which will take me to Webmaster Central and select your domain provider. I run my own hosting solution, so I select other. Google need me to add a TXT or text record to the DNS configuration of the website my application is hosted on. I copy the string and go to the cPanel of the domain. If you do not have cPanel access, you may need to ask your hosting provider to add the text record for you. Click on DNS Zone Editor. Click Manage. Filter on TXT. Select the Down button next to Add Record and select Add TXT Record. Supply the domain name and paste the text provided by Google. Click Save Record. The fact that I could add this record tells Google that I am the owner of the domain. Back at Webmaster Central, click Verify. And we are good to go. I now sign on again. Select the account I would like to use and voila. The list operation is working. Let's test the single operation by searching for something. And that's the basics of Google Drive REST API.